share with you. My new phone, which I'm very excited about. It's been a long time coming. Um, and I thought I would do a little send off to this phone, which has got me through a lot of times, you know. And um, I actually got this a couple of days ago, but I've been kind of scared to open it. <laughs> Do you guys ever get that? I have such a bad track record with dropping phones and cracking screens. That I just wanted, I just wanted it to sit there for a couple of days, perfect and untouched, before I ruin it. <laughs> is a Galaxy, a Samsung Galaxy S21 and it's purple <laughs> which if you know me at all you know it's my favourite colour and um, I'm a little bit sick so if you're going to hear that in my voice uh, and it's a bit cold today so I'm a little bit rocked up so I'm not at my finest but that's okay so I don't really know how to do an unboxing, so I'm just going to open it. Um, I'm already stumped. <sighs> Probably should have got a tool or something <laughs> to open it with. It's a beautiful box too. I don't know if you can tell, but this is kind of shimmery. Some little sealed stickers here. So we should uh, cut through those. Hmm. Or I could just peel them off, I guess. I knew this was going to be a circus. While I'm doing this, how have you guys been? I hope everybody is staying safe and well wherever you are. Um, hopefully you're somewhere where vaccinations have started. Actually, I've got a pen here. Okay, I can do it with that. Aha! So, now it should. Oh, hang on. Okay. Now it should play the game. Where are you stuck? Where are you stuck? Come on. Come to mama. Okay. We should be in business. <laughs> the most unprofessional unboxing ever, right? Oh. Beautiful. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I'm so nervous about touching it. called Phantom Violet. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh man. And it's rose gold around the sides, which is just amazing. I went with the slightly 
um, smaller model because I have tiny little hands. So phones these days. I sound like a boomer, but phones these days are too big. <laughs> they're too gosh darn big. Of course. So I'm not going to set it up until maybe later on tonight. It's still got all the the little seal on it, so I'm probably just going to leave it like that for now. But um, it's gorgeous. It feels good in my hands. So that's good. Hello. We'll tell him I don't want any. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. What else we got in here? What kind of freebies did this thing come with? It's got the little um, thing for poking your SIM card out. I hope my SIM card fits. I can never remember the difference between Nano and the other one. You know what I mean? There's like Nano. I can't remember. <laughs> Hopefully mine fits. Quick start guide. Does anybody ever read these? Come on, be honest. I don't. <laughs> so this is a dual sim. So I think that means it will take whatever you give it, which is good. Um, it doesn't have a headphone jack. So I bought some just some cheapy um, Bluetooth earphones to use. I might put another one in my mouth. Green one. You guys find that as um technology gets more and more advanced and we get more and more reliant on our phones that when you get a new phone swapping it over swapping your new phone from your old phone is like a takes a whole day to do like you have to set aside a good amount of time to move everything over I'm probably just making it harder than it needs to be anyway back to the stuff okay so this little thing, charging tape. I think this is the same as this phone. It is, so I've already got chargers. That's great, I've got another one. I love when your old phone and your new phone have the same charger. And that's it, that's it. That's all they give you. Gone are the days when they used to give you all kinds of freebies with it. You used to get like headphones and everything. Now that's all you get. And a quick start guide. Maybe I should read this to you. Samsung quick start guide. If you use a screen protector, make sure it allows for the use of ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. I've got a phone case coming in the mail, should be here this week. It's got Jim and Pam from the office on it. I just finished the office for the first time, the US one. I've seen the UK one. And I'm a little bit obsessed, so. It's a purple, of course, phone case. And it's got a little cartoon, Jim and Pam on the bottom. I can't wait. Package contents. Device. That's in there, I see it. Ejection pin. <laughs> Check. USB cable. Check, check. Quick start guide. Check. Device layer. To turn on the device, press and hold the side key for a few seconds. Oh, I don't think I want to do that now. I don't want to turn it on. And when I turn it on, I'll break it. You know when you get a new phone, it's like it. You're handling a newborn for the first week or so. And then at some point your standards drop and you just 
you have it on the kitchen bench right next to the chicken you're like whatever <laughs> um, the electric the charger should remain close to the electric socket and easily accessible while charging The device may be damaged if water or dust enters the device. Follow these tips carefully to maintain the water and dust resistant performance of the device. Do not immerse the device in fresh water deeper than 1.5 meters or keep it submerged for more than 30 minutes. Wow! So. That's way more waterproof than I thought it was. More than 30 minutes. So, as long as I stay shallower than 1.5 meters, which is... It's all pretty doable. Then I could swim with my phone, is that right? Oh, hang on. I should probably keep reading. Do not expose the device to water moving with force. So I guess like a river or an ocean. No wait, that's not fresh water. Stupid. Do not suddenly apply water pressure to the device, such as when diving. So I could go swimming with it in fresh water. If the device is exposed to fresh water, dry it thoroughly with a soft, clean cloth. If the device is exposed to other liquids, such as salt water, swimming pool water, soapy water, oil, perfume, sunscreen, hand cleaner, or chemical products such as cosmetics. Rinse it with fresh water and dry it thoroughly with a clean soft cloth. That's crazy, so I can rinse my phone with water if, it, if I get something else on it. That would feel very strange to like run your phone under a tap. <laughs> I know phones have been waterproof for years now, but I've never had a waterproof phone that I know of. If the device has been immersed in water or the microphone or speaker is wet, sound may not be heard clearly during a call. That makes sense. If the device has... I already banged it. <laughs> Day one, I banged it on the tripod. Your device has been tested in a controlled environment and certified to be door water and dust resistant in specific situations despite this classification it is still possible for your device to be damaged in certain situations like when I drop it inevitably because I'm a klutz and I can't help it it is my curse if your device is frozen and unresponsive. Press and hold the side key and the volume down key simultaneously for more than seven seconds to restart it. So that's the volume down key, this that one, and the, uh, this one, the side key. Cool. Oh, so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> There's so many cameras. What are all of these doing? What are all these boys doing? What do you need that many? For. I don't get it. I'm an old woman. <clears throat> it is recommended not to use fixed graphics on part or all of the touchscreen for extended periods. Doing so may result in after images, screen burn in, or ghosting. Did your parents ever tell you about that growing up? That Back when we had those plasma screens that work a little differently to TVs now, my dad always said you can't leave the TV paused for too long. Like if you leave it paused for a couple of hours, if you go away and leave it paused on an image, that image can get burned into the TV. And I still, to this day, I still am like, I can't leave it on the same image for too long. And my boyfriend will be like, it's fine, TVs don't work like that anymore. But apparently phones do, so... To prevent possible hearing damage when using a headset, do 
to not listen to sound at high volume for long periods. That's a good tip for everybody out there. I used to work for a hearing aid uh, company and I got to do free hearing tests on myself all the time. I learned how to do them. And um, can't be too careful with your hearing, guys, so always keep that volume low. Or if you really need to crank that song, don't do it for very long. <laughs> I didn't think this would end with a PSA, but... Well, there we go. I thought there would be more stuff in that box than there was, but... The next video you get from me will hopefully be on my new phone, and... Hopefully it will sound a bit better. So, very exciting. Look forward to that, guys.